Yep. Found out that they're willing to compete. They're willing to uh, to battle and, and fight. I was proud of them. You know, we were, we were close at times. I felt like we came out and moved the football early, played well defensively. Unfortunately, gave up, you know, a couple X plays, which, you know, you just can't hand them anything. And it, it just, I think our ability to have to kick field goals and their ability to hit some big plays really took the momentum. I uh, told the team it was a quick speech at halftime. But uh, I felt like at least that was our identity. You've got to stop talking about your identity and hoping and wishing about an identity. You have to go out there and, and play to it and find out what it is. And I think that uh, that was certainly who we are. You know, it's not always pretty. You know, but if we can eliminate turning the football over and we can eliminate you know, easy plays on defense, you know, we got a chance. Well, I mean, I hope that we can, you know, just just play better and, and more complimentary, um, you know, in the first half. We, we, we've got to stop letting them play defense or we've got to stop playing defense inside the 10-yard line early in the game. I know that. But our job is to play defense. And, you know, these guys, they're excited and they should be. All the credit to the players. They're the ones that, uh, that came out here and, you know, kept battling and fighting. And uh, it wasn't easy. This is a tough place to play. Give them a lot of credit. You know, we understand the, the pedigree of this football team, this organization, how difficult it is to come in here and, and win, how difficult it is. So I'm proud of our football team. And you always say this team believes in uh, you guys do not front run. So they want to come in this year from your down 14 points, came back in the fourth quarter. How much of your identity is just kind of reinforced by that? Well, oh, I mean, I think that it that it does. It's it's who we are. But again, you got to put it out there. You have to be willing to, to throw it out there and execute and fight um, and claw and make the correct plays at the critical situations. And, and, I'm, and I'm proud to be the coach. I'm proud to, to represent them. Uh, but all the credit goes to the players. Hey, Jerry, it's obviously a big story you had today. But how's your wife away? He's well known for now. Well, I mean, it just it never ceases to amaze me. We just got to keep being in opportunities and being football games where he can help us um, affect the outcome. And, you know, that's really what happened today. And uh, I'm sorry. no, go ahead. Uh, you know what, I, you know, you always go back and forth and, you know, we've been through there before and I just felt like the way that the defense was playing, you know, I felt like the way, you know, I mean, we, you know, I just, just decided early on, you know, that that was what we were going to do as far as, um, you know, kicking it. Well, again, I, I hope that they understand the importance of each and every week. You know, I think that that's a testament to the leadership um, of the football team. You know, like Derek mentioned, we we don't want to we don't want to coach or work with front runners. And we want guys that are just going to battle and compete. You know, it's tough to win in this league. It's it's really tough each and every week, and uh, you put a lot into it. Um, whether we win, you know, I mean, we're we're gonna when we land this, we're gonna have to be honest. You know, Indianapolis, like we got to be on to the Colts, and and how do we you know win at home and and try to you know build on this, but. We're going to treat it the same way whether we, we lost by double digits or, or won in overtime. Well, Coach, how did your mind when the kick is lined up, the kick is going to go in the field goal, and how happy were you to see your team go for it? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, extremely happy. You know I mean? Happy for Randy. You know, Randy's been, you know, a lot of places, and, um, you know, he's made kicks in this league. So happy for him that he could get recognized and, and help his football team win. Um, but, you're, you know, I mean, you're helpless. Like, we've all... You know, we've all sent our kids out of out of the house into a car, and you know, Jesus take the wheel. I guess I don't know. How were they getting behind? Did, did they roll over there? there were some mistakes, you know. What I mean, some some obviously some errors, um, you know, that 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 came up, and um, you know, one one was, um, you know, they just went up and make a play, and we didn't get them on the ground, and then. You know the other one uh, there at the uh, in the second half where it was just a uh, just a mistake. What was that team behind them on that play? How do you, how do you judge a team that did have a mistake? You saw them throwing the ball and you got some field protection out of Derek and, and Michael that time and then just kind of not able to seal up like a lot of other teams. I, is that a question or your comment? Just when you came to the line and when they were going down. Guys stepped up, man. Guys played well and AJ. You know, 
confident that, that he'll continue to, to help us win football games. I, got, I have no more confidence than anybody on this football team. There's a lot of guys I have the same, but I would put A.J. up at the, into the top with, with some guys. Well, we got some new guys, you know, I mean, I think, so, first of all, I think it was, when you go toe heel, that, that's, that's out of bounds. So apparently they thought that the heel came down on the line. And when you drag your toe, you drag your toe and that's, that's it, that's the end of it. But when you go toe heel, you know, they count the heel. So I guess that they thought that there was something in between or, you know, you might want to call the league. They got a new guy, they got new people up there working. You know, Al's, Al's not being up there anymore, so. Some of those they stayed with the field, stayed with the ruling on the field last year. Um, now there's a, a new group of guys, and that's what they saw. I, I'm not gonna you know, sit there and say anything other than I'm sure it was really close. Was there really a performance today that didn't challenge your expectations? Well, I mean, we saw it, you know, every week. And again, I'm I'm glad that you know he played really hard without the ball in his hand. I noticed a few times him blocking. You know, that was something that we made an emphasis on, uh, and so. That's what I'm most proud of. I know they're going to catch passes and, you know, they're going to score touchdowns. But, I, you know, we ask a lot of those guys with how they play uh, when they don't have the football in their hands. So that's probably what I was the most proud of uh, with, with his performance today. We just we put the next guy in there, Jim. That's what we do. That's what we've done since. That's as far as I can remember as a player in this league and as a coach, you put the next guy in there and you hope that everybody's prepared and that's why they come to practice and, you know, it could happen on the first snap, could happen before an hour and a half before the game, not sure, um, but we'll see, you know, what, what the situation is and, you know, make sure that everybody's ready to, to try to help us on game day. Is he out we're we're going to take a look and see where he's at, you know, after the game. It's, I was focused on the game when I realized that, you know, that he wouldn't be able to, to go, so. We'll try to keep you guys updated. I, I again, um, my my concern is is about getting home safe and treating the guys that need to be treated. And, and Taylor would obviously be part of that since he wasn't able to play in the football game. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.